Welcome to France Fun's our next head full of useless information about movies. I'm sitting here with Marika Achtemann. Hi. Uh, Achtemann? 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, our today's guest, uh, uh, a girl who was, uh, grew up in Holland, and, uh, in, and I thought it'd be interesting to get a lady. Uh, she's not, not an actor, not a writer, not a director. I thought it'd be an interesting to get a European perspective on things and, and movies that have influenced you. Uh, of you specifically, and I thought it'd be interesting. And it, we just did the show, and it's very interesting. Yeah. And we have a new co-host, uh, Meredith Monroe. You know Hello. from Dawson's Creek yes, and Criminal you. Minds, and many. I mean, you're a fantastic actress, and it, it went well. We just did the show. Yeah, and I it's had a fantastic a lot of show. Yeah, me too. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good, good. And one of the movies that you mention, and I try not to talk about it too much on the show because it's very difficult. But one of the movies you mentioned was Chris John F. Mm -hmm. I love. It this movie. Yeah. This is such an important movie to me. Right. And I was, I didn't know that it was on your list. Right. And uh, uh, it's, I was like, I was blown, blown away that it was. Why do you think, I mean, we were talking about it when I went down to have a cigarette after the show. You guys were talking about Chris John F. And you had never yes. seen it. No, know? I haven't. And I can't wait to see it. And I was saying, because when she had said the book and the movie were pivotal at that age for her, I yeah. had read, you had mentioned Go Ask Alice. Go Ask Alice is in the same vein. Yes. And that like a, was... Like a watered down version. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But that was, that was, for me, what Chris John F. was for you. Yeah. That it was kind of mind-blowing and opening to... Other people have different struggles and live like this, and uh -huh. this is their daily life, and and it really opened up a lot of, I guess, what else is out there in the world, and and it really sat with me, yeah. e even though it was a watered down version. Obviously, it it was it really like sat in my skin and my bones. I don't mean and to we say it's a watered. Yeah. We were talking about the innocence uh, of what yeah. it starts off as. It's like you watch this girl growing up, and in the beginning, it's like. Whatever, you smoke a joint here and there. Yeah, that's how yeah. it's... And yeah, before yeah. you know it, it's LSD and down, everything going downhill, people die, you know, and you're mm -hmm. like, whoa, like, yeah. I could be the girl smoking a joint maybe, but why am I not the girl now is who's now on the streets? Yeah. And yeah. that, I think if you see that happening and you see how easy that can happen to someone, I mean, I think that's what... Shocked, shocked me. Yeah. And we were talking, when we were wrapping up the show, uh, it seemed to be, I, I came up with the idea that if it, because I like to try to find common threads mm -hmm. and what, what ties everything in, it seemed empathy. Yeah. Was, and that fits in with Christian F. and your other movies. I don't want to spoil it. But we didn't get to all of your movies. That's true. So what are some that, like, okay, if you had to pick one movie uh -huh. to only talk about that you didn't talk about on the mm -hmm. show, what movie would it be? What's the, what it, what it had it, impacted it, you the most and influenced you be, the most? Um, I want to say Return to Paradise. Return to Paradise. Okay, Joaquin mm -hmm. Phoenix, Vince Vaughn. Mm -hmm. I forget, is it uh, Anne Hayes, yeah. the girl? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. And it's not that I particularly thought the movie itself was that good. Okay, all right. Because there's aspects in it. That like, happens a lot, Like yeah. the relationship between her and one of the the, um, the guys that smart. Well, you want to tell the plot first? Because uh, it's the, about two guys vacationing. And three guys, decide, yeah. Three guys. Oh, is it three guys? I haven't seen three it. Three guys vacationing. Um, they smoke weed. They throw it away. One guy stays behind to do charity work, right. volunteer work. The other two go back to New York. They don't know each other that well. And a year later, this girl shows up at the doorstep of the two guys that are back in New York and says, hey, that guy, that, that friend of yours, is in jail in Malaysia now and is facing that penalty. Um, unless you guys come back to Malaysia and each do three years of jail. Right, right, okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so they go back. So the, here's the thing that I didn't like is the fact that the, the lawyer turns out to be um, his sister and then starts a relationship with one of the guys, which is like, really? Well, you got to add your man to it. You know. But <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> but what's really interesting, they return after a long struggle, you know, do we even want to go here? They return and they see him. The guy's completely damaged. Like, you can't really have a normal conversation with him anymore. So then I start to wonder, it's like, okay, and this is going to sound really as if I have 
don't care about human beings at all. But it makes you wonder, if someone's completely damaged, and one of the guys, for instance, has a family at home. I know where you're going, yeah. Are you gonna sit in jail in for three years, or God knows how long, because it's, all, it's not regulated, they can do anything with you, for someone who's so damaged that doesn't even realize what's going on anymore. So the damage is already done to this person. Yeah. Why am I going to damn it? Why? Is it know, not yeah. my responsibility to raise my child that I've not set in this world? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I see what you're saying. And they're, they're so far beyond r repair, recovery, whatever, uh, yeah. back into society that... But then again, you know, you all committed a crime. Yeah. So the right thing to do is to go and do the jail time. Right, Take responsibility right. for your actions. There. But then, yeah. I mean, and then moralistically also, do you, how do you how do you sleep with yourself at night if you know that your your third exactly. friend is has Got been living this life? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but then, like you said, then it goes back to that that struggle of my children and my wife and my you know yeah. how am I now yeah. uh, not being responsible for them? Right. What's this movie? Oh, that's a Dutch movie, The Kleine Blonde Dot. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damaged dad, love for son, in, in pinatas. No, in pinatas. Yeah, euthanasia. Yeah. Yeah. Can you it's say a, that again a, slowly <laughs> so, that, so that people, if they want to check it out? Euthanasia. It's a very. No, I know. No, no, not yeah. euthanasia. I meant the title. So oh, you right. say that slowly so that the, the listeners the, the can. The Kleine Blonde Dot. But I don't think they translated it even. So oh, no? Okay. I don't know. But they might have English subtitles for it. What, what, <laughs> what's this movie about? It's it's a movie about um, a guy that kind of lives a reckless life. His dad was in war. He's damaged from that. He lives a reckless life. Has a has a one night stand with a girl, and they have. Then she tells him, "I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have your oh. baby, your baby." Okay. And they euthanize the baby. He falls in love with mm -hmm. the kid, and then. Sorry. sees one day the, the, the woman hits the child uh -huh. oh. and the moment he sees that he's like no this oh. is my kid i'm gonna take it away from you so he has to change his life completely his lifestyle everything to make a long story short the kid dies at the age of four oh. or doesn't die it falls down the stairs and is in coma and he kills the kid Oh, and, and it's an important, it's an important topic oh, okay, because yeah. I think the American view on that is so different from the Dutch view. Is it? Like, how so? Like, we yeah. can't make up our minds about anything. It's always <laughs> black and white. In God Holland. wants it this way. And, you know. Holland Sorry, is the most the... liberal, I think, when it comes oh, okay. to euthanasia. Yeah. And um, So that's where you got to go if, you, if, if you're pro-euthanasia. Yeah, and I res really respect it. <laughs> no, no, I seriously, <laughs> I, no, I, I, mean, I sometimes, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, hey, there, this, it's not such a bad idea. For me, it's really important. For me, free will is the most important yeah. thing. So if I tell you, look, I'm in, if I'm in coma, I don't want to live. I want everyone to respect that, yeah. and I want don't want someone else or a system to tell me you have to live even though you're in a coma. I agree with yeah, you. We were talking about too. that the other day about helmet laws. Yeah, right. I don't. There can't. Right. It makes no sense to me while why there are helmet laws. It's of course it's better to wear a helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's up to me. Yeah. You know what? This is becoming a, a political show. <laughs> and this is a show about movies. Uh, listen to the show. It's a fantastic show. Uh, just click on click on the uh, link above or below. I don't know. Um, and uh, listen to the show. Thanks. Thanks.